Good morning, another vlog in my bathroom. I just finished getting ready. I haven't vlogged in a while because I've just, um, I don't even know why, but I think I'm trying to get back into vlogging at least once a week. I need to make it a priority. If I want this to work out, I have to do it. Um, I've just been working, I don't know, it's just so hard to keep up when i constantly do doubles if you follow me on tiktok you'll see that i do work a lot of double shifts but um it's not like the the work itself it's not draining it's more like waking up early in the morning and i'm also every time i get home i just like sleep in i have i mean i prioritize my sleep now i try to get in at least eight hours of sleep it has helped my mood a lot it has helped my energy a lot and I feel less fatigued um, I used to struggle a lot with feeling fatigue but just making sure I'm getting in my eight hours of sleep every single day has really really changed the way I feel mentally and internally like I just feel so well rested and with good energy so that being said I woke up late today <laughs> I got home around 12 30 last night from work I showered real quick and I went to sleep. This vlog is going to be like a weekend vlog and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing today. I don't think I'm going out. If I do, it'll be just like Starbucks. I don't have to go out, but I am going to the gym. I am on my daily time as well and I figured I still have to go to the gym. I was supposed to, today was supposed to be like my leg day, but I'm not going to do that because I'm on my second day and we all know that's not going to be possible to do because it's just, I tried it before and it triggered so many bad cramps by lifting, doing the Smith machine, doing RDLs, doing all of that. I would never do it again. I literally had to walk out the gym because my pain was so bad. Like I couldn't. I was like, oh my god, like I literally triggered my own cramps by lifting. Um, maybe I still don't know how to properly lift while I'm on my period. I don't think I wanna learn. I think I'm just gonna listen to my body and go for like the stairmaster an hour or an hour and 30 minutes. I've been doing trying to do two hours on the stairmaster. So far, I've been able to do an hour and 30 minutes just because, not because I can't, not because I can't, but just because there's only three stair masters at my gym. And I know people want to use it. I don't want to be that girl that like hovers one machine for hours. So um, whenever I start to see people like being curious about the stair master, I give it up and let them use it. And as soon as I get off, like someone does eventually uses it within like five minutes so yeah that's the only reason why i haven't done like exactly two hours uh, i'm gonna make some breakfast i was debating whether making coffee coffee's not great when you have your lady time but i think i'm craving like a nice cup of coffee i'm not saying i can't make a good cup of coffee i can but i'm craving like a starbucks sweet cream latte I think I'm gonna order one and go grab it and then just come back and then we can make breakfast together there is no best feeling than the feeling of having a clean room I just I'm obsessed with like how minimal and clean it looks but oh my god okay wait before we order let me show you guys this is what I've been listening to and i am obsessed with listening and it's literally 11 hours i only had it on for seven hours because i had to get up and go to the bathroom and then i turned it off but it just relaxes you like there's just some days where you just wake up feeling very bothered and i think those are the days where i usually have like restless nights or i don't have good sleep so this has been really helping with that and i've been waking up in the best mood ever you can possibly think of no one can face me like i know i am not allowing anyone to like even get close to my good energy because if you have bad energy i can sense it i'm gonna order starbucks and i'm gonna go pick it up and then when i'm back i'm gonna show you guys what i got 
I'm back and oh my god it is so humid outside this is what I got I got a grounded ice white mocha with vanilla sweet cream foam almond milk light ice two pumps of white mocha and no whip oh my god let us taste it look at the foam the foam it's insane I'm obsessed all right I hate that I like this because it's so expensive. It's so good. <gasps> Why? First things, Happy Chicken Eggs, okay? From Happy Chickens because we love and protect the chickens. I mean, I try as much as I can to purchase them. They're quite expensive. Okay, we're gonna use only two eggs. And I'm just going to put in my eggs. Now I'm going to use everything but the bagel sesame. I'm seasoning from Trader Joe's and I'm just going to put it on top. I like my eggs to already be seasoned when scrambled instead of like season them after they're already scrambled, if that makes sense. My eggs are done. I like them a little brown because that's the only way I know that they're actually cooked, cooked. <laughs> My eggs, fully done. One piece of bread, toast it up. So we're just gonna place it on, I don't have a toaster, so we're just gonna reuse it and heat it up on the same pan that I cooked the eggs. All right guys, this is breakfast. I was going to prepare a side of fruits, but to be honest, I think this is gonna be enough for me. This is also very filling, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy breakfast, and I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna go to the gym very soon, and I'm not taking any pre-workout anymore. I'm trying to go to the gym without any pre-workout because the last time I did a two-hour um, stairmaster exercise, and oh my god, what am I saying? Because the last time. <laughs> I went to the gym. I did two hours on the Stairmaster and I had taken pre-workout. I legit felt like my heart was going to come out of my body and I kind of started like getting scared. So I've been trying to work out without any sort of pre-workout or energetic drinks. The only energy drink that I've been drinking but not as much as I used to. It's coffee and matcha. But other than that, I haven't really been on coffee or matcha at all. I don't know. I don't know what happened to me. I just kind of stopped with the caffeine for like three, four days. I haven't really had coffee or matcha. Unless I work, but it doesn't really do anything. <laughs> gonna start getting ready to the gym. I'm going to change, put on a t-shirt because i sweat like a monster also oh my god i forgot to show you wait let me show you outside i think it's already raining yep it's raining it's raining and it's humid i've been using natural deodorants like on and off but sometimes especially like native they have most of them are scented and do they work yes but sometimes when I sweat a little too much, I can smell the deodorant and I hate smells. I don't like the smell of deodorant, especially if it's cucumber or if it's anything fresh. It did, because it doesn't smell like that. It smells like sweat. It smells like body odor and cucumber together. Um, also, I had to kind of like start reapplying because it doesn't hold on for a very long periods of time and if i go to the gym i just don't like the smell when i sweat anyways i t if you follow me on tiktok you know that i tested i bought and i tested this Cosa sport chemistry fragrance free and oh my god i tested this for two hours while i was on a semester and the elliptical and i did not smell a thing i've been testing this out for this whole week going to work doing double shifts and sometimes it's very hot because I have to count up to go to the OR so it gets really, really hot and I start to sweat. And it's been very humid this past week. 
this i don't smell and i don't have to reapply and i wear this for like 16 hours because my shifts are like eight hours so it's like 16 hours of work day and oh my god it's legit the best thing like the best deodorant ever and it's so gentle on the armpits oh it's an a aha serum deodorant but it's so good i love this so if you guys are in the hunt of a good natural deodorant try this one i get the fragrance free if i find i try to always do fragrance free because i don't like fragrance um i haven't found one that has a fragrance that smells good while you sweat um i just don't want any issues at the gym <laughs> or at work um but yes this one amazing hey guys i am heading to the gym i'm wearing this long big shirt because i'm about to sweat a lot and i just feel comfortable just in case you know but i am such a sweaty mess right now my shirt it's soaked in sweat so i took it off because i just couldn't walk around with this i it's just i can't um i'm gonna go ahead and shower real quick <laughs> which is the next day. I'm gonna eat some yogurt with some watermelon before I head to the gym. I'm starting my workout early today just because I have to go to sleep early. My bed is already done. It's literally like eight o'clock in the morning. I woke up around 7.30 and I stood in bed, but it's already eight, I decided to get up and eat something before I head to the gym because one thing I realized is every time I go to the gym without anything in my stomach, I start getting dizzy and I don't want that to happen, so. Everything looks clean, right? But I, I didn't vacuum yesterday, so I need to vacuum today. Those are my little weights for Pilates. Also, I was supposed to do Pilates. I may do them later, but I don't know. I think I'm just gonna let my body rest and take a day off tomorrow from the gym. I was supposed to go to sleep at six. The plan was to go to sleep at six and wake up around two o'clock in the morning and go to the gym at that time before work. I do a double shift tomorrow, but I don't think that's a good idea. I just finished cleaning my entire room it's dust free it smells so good in here now I need to clean my bathroom I already sprayed some of this uh, is it like a bathroom cleaning mold and mildew I don't think I have any of that but I figured it'll be like a good cleaner to clean like once a week I don't know. I never realized how tall my ceilings are in the bathroom. This is a disinfectant I use. It's Everspring. It's an antibacterial. It's really nice. It really is very, very nice. It smells very vinegary with like lemon scent. Is it lemon or eucalyptus? Citrus, yeah. It smells very citrusy, very like lemony, but it works and it's really nice. Hello. I am done cleaning and I already did my skincare. Um, and oh my god, while I was cleaning, I was going through my drawers and I found this cute set. It smells so good. It's so small but so cute. Everything looks so clean right now that I'm just like in such a good energy mode because every time i clean and i deep clean like this i just feel so good i look oily and sweaty but i'm not it's just skincare it's marinating into my skin and i also had to wash my vitruvi because it was getting sort of dusty oh so, yeah this is the inside but Okay. 
like that. I've been into salsa waters lately. So I'm gonna go ahead and drink one of these. This is the guava flavor. It is so good. It's so delicious and refreshing. I'm like legit obsessed with this flavor. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, I'm getting ready for bed now. It's seven, eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock in the in the. Oh my god, what am I saying? It's eight o'clock right now, and I'm gonna get ready for bed because I need to wake up extra early. Um, but I am going to use my Vitruvi tonight. And you guys see my vlogs. You guys know that this is literally my favorite oil for any sort of um diffuser. It makes you go to sleep so quick and you will knock out, literally. Like, you will knock out and have the best rest and the best sleep you've ever had. It's so good. Um, so that's what I'm going to put. A little bit. Oh. I put a lot because I, <laughs> I love the smell. Okay. And then we're going to set it up for eight hours. I always do eight hours because I try to sleep eight hours a night. And there you go. 